I came to Flag, it completely unbugged my case. Um, I had been stalled for, I think, like four years. And then I came here and it just completely, completely unraveled my case. It is the happiest, safest place I've ever been. Everyone makes it uh, an incredible experience. Everybody is rooting for you to go up the bridge. Flag is the ultimate place on the planet to be and to go OT. I arrived OT form, and within less than a month, I was through setups, through Elledge, and through OT5, and on to six. That's how fast. The whole purpose of being here is to advance you as a spiritual being and to make your dreams come true. Training or processing. Flag for me is just perfection, perfection, perfection. <laughs>
we have more than 70 Class 9 Knots Auditors set up to deliver to thousands in the OT band. Yes, more than 70 fully trained Golden Age of Tech Net for OT's auditors ready to take you in session. Any arbitrary standing in the way of your progress off the bridge and achieving total freedom have been removed. If you're OT3, your next step is OT4. And if you're OT4, your next step on the bridge is knots. All arbitraries are canceled. Your next step is NED for OTs. Knots consist of 26 separate steps, each one an OT rundown in itself. The first step is designed to raise your theta perceptions. As you progress through each rundown, you experience enormous personal expansion and freedom while blowing stops that otherwise might prevent the attainment of full OT. And the result? Utter certainty of your personal immortality as a spiritual being. Delivering in English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, Dutch, and Japanese, our Class 9 will take you in session four to six times a day. Often you hear pre say they blew more charge in one short session of knots than whole intensities of lower bridge auditing. As more knots cases confronted, the outright miracles of LRH Tech happened more than ever before, freeing the bean from disabilities that have affected him for eons. The incredible thing about OT5 is that the auditing is very precise. It's very fast, so when you go in session, you just, boom, handle it. That one session was the equivalent of my entire lower bridge up through OT4. I could not believe it. I'm able to just postulate. And things that I decide to have, I have. And um, anything that gets in my way just kind of moves out of the way if I don't want it there. So I'm a much more stable being than I've ever been before. There's no effort, there's no force. It just suddenly smooths out. And, and you go, wow, that's the way it should have been all along, you know? It's the most spiritual level I've ever encountered. It surpassed all my expectations. It was as if I'd taken all the case gain that I'd had before, rolled it up into one, and then exploded that to a much, much higher level. It was phenomenal. is the home of solo knots. Students are moving through new OT6 and onto OT7 in record time. Every step you've taken in Scientology culminates in this HGC and the auditing of solo knots, the final stage of the second wall of fire. At FLAG, you begin the non-confidential part of the OT6 course at the same time as you receive new OT5. This way, by the time you complete new OT5, you can literally be a week away from your first session on Solonet for OTs. When you do new OT6, you don't just become a perfect Solonauts auditor. You master 79 exact auditing procedures and audit them directly under our Solonaut CSs. There is literally no aspect of case that cannot be addressed and handled with the tech of this level. The end result is cause over life with more winds of magnitude than you can conceive of. This is the road that leads to personal freedom, immortality, and the attainment of full OT. I was no longer the effect of my case. Because regardless of what happened, regardless of what came up, regardless of what situation happened, I could pull out my e-meter, pull out my tools, and handle it. You continue to audit, and you continue to audit, 
and all of a sudden you see that shifting, you know, that equilibrium is shifting and you're getting more and more cause and you see things in life and then it becomes a game. It's like, oh, there's something to handle, handle. There's an out point, no longer. And then you know your cause over life. Now I am very calm about just about anything. You know, it's like I, I can't even think of right now of a situation that would really make me nervous. It's uh, my universe is very calm and clear and um, just sort of smooth sailing all the way. There's nothing negative. I don't think the cause over life really hits or hit me so much until as I was, after I was attested. And then it was like, yes, I am cause over life, start. Flag, we train auditors, auditors who are floodless, flawless, and who apply 100% standard tech 100% of the time. Auditor training at Flag is tough, but when we say tough, we don't mean difficult to get through. What we are talking about is the standard of perfection and all of the tech that is used to make the perfect auditor. Any Scientologist training at FLAG on any course or internship receives the same care and attention and 100% standard training that the world's top auditors receive. There are no compromises in quality at FLAG. With multilingual supervisors, materials in all languages, and the tools of the golden age of tech, you will acquire these skills faster and easier than you ever thought possible. Put through their paces on the FLAG Pro TRs course, the FLAG Professional Metering course, and then the Academy, each student learns the mechanics of the mind and the know-how necessary to handle and control life. Ready to handle just about any situation that could ever come up, both in an auditing session or in life. From my training here at FLAG, I am so much more confident, I am so much calmer, and I really know where I'm going in life. Things are just getting simpler and I'm getting more and more certainty and more and more confidence and I can't think of anything better. <laughs> I've never experienced the multitude, uh, the density of winds of cognitions and, and I see it, trace it completely to the standardness, the simplicity, uh, the power of it. Since the golden age of tech and especially doing it here at FLAG, I feel that I can handle anything, I can confront anything without no consideration, no stops, no blocks, nothing. I started to change my own life. I got a better family, I got a better life, I got a better job, I got a better everything. It's pure sanity. He's given me the tools to handle life so that I can handle the, any barriers which would be in my way getting up DOT levels. Because you know what you know, and that's just it. You just know it. You know it's so cold that you don't even have to think about it. And it's not only in a session where you have this ability, it's in life. The FLAG Internship is where the student learns the practical side of auditing and where he becomes flawless, loveless, and 100% standard with not a comma out of place. He can handle anything. He has become a flag trained auditor in every sense of the word. Here comes a complete checkout on all the basics. TRs, metering, the communication cycle. Each of them will be taken apart and looked over with a magnifying glass and every weakness detected, even the minor ones. Then comes the handling and this is where the cramming officer steps in. He'll find the right outness and come up with the exact handling needed, whatever you need to become a perfect auditor. Then you are ready to audit, and audit, and audit, hours and hours, every day. Because Ron said, the only way you will ever become a perfect auditor is by auditing. Imagine this, you've got your TRs down cold, your metering is flawless. Your comm cycle is perfect. You get a program NCS from your expert flag case supervisor and it's spot on for your PC. You go in session. The result? 
a crack case. That was flag auditing, and you delivered it. It's this intensive, exacting, precise combination that makes the best auditors in the world and can make you one of the best auditors in the world. Standard and unshakably certain with a complete grasp of floodless, flawless auditing. You have become a flag auditor. All my sessions were watched, so every little detail got corrected. And now I know I just can audit without attention on anything and just being with a preclear and getting him winning. Sure enough, uh, I became floodless, flawless, a perfect class six auditor. And I, I know this, it's just me at this point. I could feel that confidence being instilled in me and I thought, yeah, I really can do this, you know, I really can do it. And then what happens? You do it. Any PCU sits down in front of me, I know I can do something to help that person. I know that I can take that person's aberrations and use standard tech, apply it to that person, and I can make that person saner. Being on a flag internship, you actually learn how to handle life. It's nothing in life that I can't handle. Life is simple to me. All I gotta do is just apply Scientology and bam, it just happens. Here at the Fort Harrison, our HGCs are staffed with the world's top trained golden age of tech auditors. At FLAG, the work begins before you even arrive. Your folders will be called for well in advance, and they will be gone through from beginning to end to make sure that they are programmed for the exact thing you need as your next step on the bridge. No more and no less. And it is overseen by a Class 12 case supervisor. As soon as you arrive, you will receive an interview with the Director of Processing and then one of a host of Golden Age of Tech flag-trained auditors will be standing by to take you in session within hours and you will be on your way up the bridge. With intensive auditing that is guaranteed to be spot on and 100% standard, every session will be perfect and then you will get three, four, five, or even more of those perfect sessions every day, as much as two and even three intensives a week. That's a lot of auditing and translates into intensive progress up the bridge. Flags auditors and CSs are trained to handle anything, and they will personally make sure that you move up the grade chart. You come in. I got here on a Thursday, right after two, and I was up there in, in the HCCs about half an hour later. And you just go right through. Ethics lines are fast, everything 100% A to B all the way through. Because I could be really in session, and it's regularly in sessions, very tightly packed one after the other after the other, I could get so much more out of the sessions much quicker and in a much shorter space of time. And you know exactly what it is that's being done is exactly the right thing for you at that particular moment. And that uh, allows you to go back into life and be more, do more, and have more. You are in session, you have wonderful sessions with a wonderful, what she found out, what she got out of me, that's wonderful. I didn't know myself. <laughs> I've had so many huge wins, I mean just uh, the word I use is ginormous. <laughs> it's just, it's just, they're just huge. I, I just, I'm blown out most of the time. Flag auditing is the best on the planet. Totally. <laughs> it is. When the flag land base opened in 1975, LRH gave FLAG the responsibility to move all Scientologists to OT. To achieve this, he entrusted FLAG with special FLAG-only rundowns. Rundowns that require the best auditing and case supervision on the planet. As a result, our technical team can crack any case no matter what. 
These case resolution rundowns will get anyone moving on the bridge and up to OT in no time. They terminatedly handle specific phenomena that can block bridge progress. OutInt can snarl up all other auditing until it's handled. One can fixably go into things on any dynamic to very unhappy results. The InfiDynamics rundown resolves all manifestations of OutInt on all dynamics. If you were to add up all the job-related upsets you had just this lifetime, and then multiply that by countless lifetimes, that's a lot of charge. That's what the profession intensive handles, and you become cause over your work. Attention stuck on a single individual can prevent you from creating a present time. The fixated person rundown relieves this condition, frees up your attention, and gives you great resurgence in life. The dynamics can get overloaded with heavy charge, and it increases beyond your ability to operate well. The dynamic sort-out assessment uncovers and blows these deep layers of charge. Specific case phenomena can blunt an individual's ability to flourish and prosper. Discoveries from LRH's upper OT band research yielded the Havingness Rundown. This rundown spans all dynamics and restores your command of flows, energy, and money. The new Vitality Rundown, available only to pre-clears, gets to the bottom of unexplained roller coastering, problems, and stress in life. Individually tailored to you, no two PCs are ever asked the same questions. Yet, all who complete it get the result its name implies, new vitality. Your capacity to know is limitless. Yet, you may despise studying or have difficulty learning, or you may neglect training others. The knowledge rundown blows away deep-seated charge on this subject and returns your power of choice to know. It was the use of the case cracker rundown at FLAG that proved there was no such thing as a failed case. Included in this rundown is an assessment of the list LRH called the champion list of all time. Together with other actions in this rundown, there is no case that cannot be cracked at FLAG. With precision, speed, and the greatest expertise in the world, these FLAG-only rundowns can cut through any barrier, address the exact, precise problem, and get you moving towards freedom and OT. Each of the rundowns that I did definitely addressed what needed to be addressed. I had um, floating TAs <laughs> on every rundown, which was, um, that was a first for me. So it was just like, she's like, the auditor would say, well, your TA is floating. I'm like, oh, wow. I came to FLAG, uh, immediately things started changing, immediately. Within a few days, things straightened out. Um, I got through my case cracking and went right onto my CCRD and setups, which was exactly what was needed. Due to my dynamic sort out rundown, uh, it just set me up to just fly on the rest of the bridge. It just, you know, opened me up as a being, and I went clear right after that. I went to move the bridge, but I don't can't find the the way to, and then I. Uh, make the decision to come to FLAG and to make a FLAG only rundown and it takes a few sessions and now I'm moving on the bridge. Now I've actually moved on to my next step on the bridge which is uh, awesome. Excitement again. Uh, I can't wait to go and continue and get on to the OT levels. It's, uh, it's miraculous for me. In 1970, LRH described a special case remedy as about the wildest breakthrough we've had in 20 years. This tech threw away a bean basic case. It gave both the lower and pre-OT grades a boost to a level never before seen. Of course, this special case remedy was what we now know as the L's. Only at FLAG can you receive the one series of rundowns in Scientology that produces the specific EP of stable exteriorization.
Each of the L rundowns contains actions so explosive that they demand a special class of auditors, the Class 12s. We're the only auditors on the planet with unique auditing techniques and special TRs required to deliver the L's. When you sit down across from a Class 12 auditor, you're not only about to launch into reaches of OT you never knew existed, but you'll be guided there at a level of OT auditing skill not generally dreamed of. Given in a precise sequence, L11, L10, and then L12, these rundowns answer the question of how a Thetan could lose all his personal power. L11 reaches deep into the case to grab hold of your most severe aberrations and then goes deeper still to vanish them forever. L10 answers the question of why an OT restrains himself and ceases to behave as an OT. This series of 30 rundowns LRH called the King of the Mountain. L10 zeroes in on occluded areas that are not touched in any other rundown. You'll resolve whole track confusions on the lie rundown, uproot ancient second dynamic suppressions on the 2D rundown, unlock your third dynamic power with the groups rundown, and relieve the burdens of eons with the greatest overt motivator rundown. On L11, you will have achieved a new life. On L10, you have become a powerhouse. And yet, there is still one more set of rundowns which awaits you, L12. Imagine the uncountable, discarded, buried, and forgotten identities of the time track, wrapping around the basic you and all the assorted ridges of charge attached to those countless lives. L12 blasts through the layers, uncovering you. Unwanted traits of your character and bad impulses are seen for what they are as you discharge the harmful energy connected with them. This rundown makes you a true OT, able to boom an area with no reservation, giving you the freedom to be, do, and have anything you choose in life. When you complete L12, you will have achieved stable exteriorization and gained a resurgence of basic purpose and full awareness of your own immortality. L11, that was um, where I got rid of most of my counter intentions. You know, I could see them just falling away so that I could have like straight path to what I wanted to achieve. I thought I had a big universe and it was actually pretty close. And then I noticed like halfway through the L, it started just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And at one point I was kind of nervous because I'm thinking, this is really unreal. I mean, I've never had this kind of, I don't remember having this kind of space. Having done all three L's is like, uh, you, just, you just have so much more power than you ever have had before. It's like, uh, you know, how like Superman <laughs> stares off his shirt with that big S there. You feel like you can take on anything. And, um, and you really can. I'm stable. <laughs> I have no doubts about, you know, who I am, how much I can have, what I can reach into, my, my immortality and what I'm going for. I can name and want and get a product. I don't go to the effect of things anymore if something comes up. I just say, okay, how do we handle this? And I don't have a problem. There's no problem. <laughs> I can really control all the dynamics all the time. Things don't happen to me. I know, I know 100% I'm creating things. Things don't happen to me. There is nothing that just happened because of whatever. I am controlling everything. Flag is the friendliest place in the whole world. In this environment, you will make it to OT. Everything we do is with one purpose in mind to make it possible for you to rapidly move up the bridge. 
We do that by putting an environment here where you can keep all your dynamics aligned in your progress up the grade chart. All the little and not so little things, getting from place to place, managing your affairs, keeping sessionable, whatever is needed to make your trip completely distraction free. Our hotels provide flag standards and accommodations that are suitable to any taste or budget. The Fort Harrison, a landmark for Clearwater, is ideal for those on their L's, special flag only rundowns, case cracking, and a number of other services. Our newest hotel, the Osceola at the Sandcastle, provides ideal accommodations for those on service at the new advanced org adjacent to it. Our many restaurants serve a variety of menus, from the five-star cuisine of the hibiscus to the Sandcastle restaurant overlooking the bay, or the lemon tree, hourglass, or Palms Cafe. As our guest, you also enjoy unlimited access to our three professionally staffed, state-of-the-art fitness centers, along with saunas, pools, and jacuzzis. And our air-conditioned fleet of shuttles will get you around to any of Flag's facilities. Our reputation as the friendliest place in the whole world grew out of our purpose to see you all the way up the bridge. It all adds up to a one-of-a-kind environment you'll never forget. And that's the Flag Experience. Everything is like this little island of, of special sanity in the world. And when you come here, you're perfectly safe. It's just perfect. You're very excited to be back, and they're excited to have you. And the service just kind of uh, spills out. It's just a wonderful thing, and it's a, a very theta environment. It's something that is as close to the ideal scene as I could possibly imagine. They take care of you um, in terms of your every need, your sessionability, your food, your sessions, the tech services. They just make sure that you have everything you need. It's so neat to feel like this whole, this whole group is behind you, going free. I mean, from every single terminal, they're there to service you. Everywhere else, there's some other intention, some other purpose, but at Flag, it's just like that single purpose, a single intention to get you through, and that's like the only thing they care about. They're there to help you. It's the best. There's no place like Flag. Flag acts as the information nerve center for Scientology. These offices on the expansion walkway monitor the advance of the greatest strides ever made in planetary clearing. Their application of the tech penetrate virtually every society of man, each time restoring well-being to it. The International Hubbard Ecclesiastical League of Pastors, IHELP, assists volunteer ministers and field auditors who bring the first glimpses of freedom to people everywhere. Scientology Missions International establishes frontline dissemination in areas new to Scientology, working with pioneer Scientologists whose missions offer hope to millions. On the vanguard of that hope, the World Institute of Scientology Enterprises disseminates LRH Tech on all fronts, putting administrative solutions into the world's volatile business communities. Attacking the core of the problems underlying social decay, the Association for Better Living and Education brings LRH's solutions for illiteracy, drugs, crime, and immorality to the world. And there is Author Services, Ron's personal organization where you can find out what is being done to preserve LRH's legacy for eternity. Every Friday night, thousands of Scientologists gather in Flag's Auditorium for the world's premier graduation to celebrate newfound freedom of those who have attained their next levels on the bridge. FLAG also hosts international events, and you'll be there, whether it's the latest announcement of a St. Hill size org or the impact of LRH Tech in an entire country, FLAG is where you'll hear about it first. Traditionally, we play a pivotal role in international expansion, and this will only grow in magnitude with delivery of superpower at the new Mecca. When completed, technical and administrative lines at FLAG will expand by a factor of five. And on a broader scope, the new Mecca will put this planet within range of clearing. History is being made at FLAG. 
as we lay the foundations of a truly new civilization. There are so many people here from so many different places all over the world and they're all doing one thing and that is they are becoming more able. This is where it's happening. You, know, you look around flag and you see. You see that glow with people. We're making OTs. You're working with everybody else who has the same purpose and there's not all of these other things interfering in your environment and you're just with thousands of people on the same team. FLAG is the mecca of Scientology. It is the most standard, um, the most ideal environment that we have on the planet and uh, it's also an example of what the rest of the planet needs to be. It's just fantastic. I wish the whole world functioned this way. FLAG is the place to be. <laughs> So this is what awaits you at FLAG, your personal immortality. Never in the history of Scientology have so many moved into the OT band. Of all the adventures on the whole track, none compare to the ultimate prize of spiritual freedom you'll find at the top of the grade chart. And it's here for you right now. Come to FLAG so we can take you to OT.